I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very good question from the previous test paper on functions, pre-calculus. A ball is thrown upwards from the roof of a building 60 meter tall. The ball reaches a height of 80 meters above the ground after 2 seconds and hits the ground 6 seconds after being thrown. Write height of the ball as a function of time determine domain and range of this function right you can pause the video copy the question answer and then look into my suggestion so i need a lot of space and therefore i'm just kind of making a sketch here to help define variables and understand the situation so what we have here is ball is thrown from the height of 60 meters and that is our height we are saying h of t is the function and this is time t time is in seconds and height is in meters it reaches a height of uh, let's say this is the height of 80 meters after two seconds so that is the situation given to us and it hits the ground six seconds after it is being hit since the building is 60 meters tall at t equals to zero height of the ball is 60. now you should not really assume that 80 is the peak or the vertex it may be but you should not be assumed that's the kind of idea here right so we are not assuming 80 to be the vertex and we are given actually three points on this parabolic path with the help of these three points we are going to find the equation right so in general the equation will be h of t equals to a t square since t's are independent variable plus b t plus c so the idea is to find a b and c from the given three points points given to us are the first point here is 0 60 so the points given to us are at t equals to 0 height is 60 meters and then we have at t equals to 2 the height is 80 meters and at t equals to 6 the height is 0. if we use these points one by one we'll get three different equations and from three equations we can always solve for three variables that's the whole idea so let's substitute 0 first so height is 60, we get 60 equals to 0 plus 0 plus c, and that gives you the value of c as equals to 60, right? So that is first thing. So now from now onwards, we can write c as 60. Let's use the second point, 2, 80. So 2 is the value of t, 80 is the value of height. So 80 is equals to 2 is t, so it's a times 2 square, let me write 2 first, right? B times 2 plus C is 60 for us. So we use 60 from our equation number 1. So let us say this is equation 1. So we use equation number 1, the value of C. Okay, let us simplify this a bit. So we can bring 60 on the left side. So we have 80 minus 60 equals to 4A plus 2B. 80 minus 60 is 20 equals to 4a plus 2b you can divide by 2 so we get 10 equals to 2a plus b right so i'll call this as my second equation so from the second point we got the second equation now we can substitute 6 and 0 and in the equation and get the third equation correct so if I substitute 6 is the value of t, 0 is h of t, we get 0 equals to 6 squared. So let me write 36 this time. I'm not writing like this. 6 squared is 36. So 36a plus 6b, right? t is 6, 6b plus 60. So we have used 60. Okay. So that becomes the next equation for us. And we can actually divide by... 6 here and rearrange bringing 60 to the left side what we get here is minus 60 
equals to equals to okay we'll do it in two steps 36 a plus 6 b right so let me because i'm running out of space here so let me take this equation to the right side so we'll write this we'll divide by 6 now so we have uh, minus 10 equals to 6a plus b right let me call this equation as equation 3 so as you can see from here what we did was we divided by 6 correct this is what we did and we got this equation so equation 3 is minus 10 6a plus b equation 2 is 10 equals to 2a plus b so if i do equation 2 take away equation 3 what do i get so 10 take away minus 10 will give me 20 right and uh, uh, 2a take away 6a gives me 4a with a minus sign right 2a take away 6a minus 4a b take away b is 0 solving we get a equals to 20 divided by minus 4 and that gives us a equals to minus 5 you get the idea right so a is 5 let me call this as equation 4 for us now we know what a is so we can find what b is so let us substitute a equals to 5 in second equation so what do we get we get 10 equals to 2 times a which is minus 5 plus b or we can say it is 10 this is also 10 bringing it here becomes 20 right so 10 plus 10 so we get b equals to 20 so let me call this as my equation number 5 now from these equations we know the value of b is 20 value of a is minus 5 we found the value of c as 60 right so we can write down our answer the answer uh, okay so because there are many more things uh, okay so okay for part a we get our answer as that the equation is h of t equals to a is minus 5 so minus 5 t square b is 20 plus 20t and c is 60 plus 60 right so that is the answer for part a right so answer for part a part b is determine domain and range of this particular function now domain is clear so part b is we can say domain right so domain in this case as you can see is uh, is from 0 to 6 the possible values for time duration during which the flight of the ball right so that is from 0 to 6 now to find range we need to find maximum that is what we need to find okay now as you know in a quadratic equation maximum will be at minus b by 2a right minus b by 2a so b is 20 so so we can say t equals to minus of 20 divided by 2 times a which is 2 times minus 5 so that gives you the value 2 so at t equals to 2 we have maximum fortunately we know what t of 2 is or you can say h of 2 and when you substitute 2 here in your equation you will get the answer which is given to you as 80 right and therefore in this particular case the range is you can say range is from 0 to 20 right so in this case you are lucky that the point given to you was also the maximum right so you could have approached the equation by using uh, the vertex form of the equation also to solve anyway uh, the idea is to provide you with a general solution so i have another question uh, which is related where i have not given you the maximum just to remind you that you could be given any three points not necessarily the x intercept y intercept and the vertex okay keep that in mind i hope that really helps uh, and sometimes it may make huge difference i'm anil kumar you can subscribe and share my videos and get excellent marks in your test thank you 
and all the best.